And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the Northwest with an SCV that doesn't want to mine that one out. There we go, mine that properly. Up against, what's this? A, a Protoss player? A red Protoss player by the name of Deckums. Uh, this is on Delta Quadrant. I didn't think it was possible, but sure enough, there it is. A Protoss player on Delta Quadrant. Something other than Terran. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, the map is Delta Quadrant, and I don't know why Delta, but I know why Quadrant. There's four bases here, four main bases, with just one Zelnaga Tower in the middle. Deckums is going for an early scouting. Meanwhile, I am going for Supply Depot. That's pretty much it. Uh, he, the Protoss players could probably get the earliest scout out of anybody, simply because that pylon will continue to build while the, S, the, 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 the probe just leaves. He, it can just keep going. I can't do that with my SCV. It has to stay there and build the supply depot. Of course, Zerg players, they lose the drone when they build uh, anything, but the Overlord is really what gives them supply. So maybe they can get out early too. And there the probe lies. Hold on, let me show you guys this, because this was awesome. All right, here we go. And here's my camera. Here's what I see. But look, I can't see that. I cannot see that. That was awesome by Deckums. He faked like he was leaving, so I assumed he was leaving, but he stayed in my base. In my expansion, and I don't know if he's been watching my commentaries, but I don't get that it, this ex the expansion on this map uh, until pretty late. If I get an early expansion, I'll be here, uh, because I'll if I get an early expansion, I assume I have map control. But he went for the... wow. That was awesome. So he completely tricked me out there. I'm not even going to lie. Two gateways coming in, along with a second pylon. Meanwhile, I am getting the barracks up and running. And I'm also doing worse at spending my minerals. But, come on, there we go. Marine out, and... Orbital Command, come on. I, I know you want to change. I can't. I'm trying. It won't work. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Oh, I'm too busy microing my SCV here, it looks like. Ugh. There we go. Uh, so I got some scouting done. What did I see? I saw two gateways. I saw the Cybernetics Core as well. But you know what I didn't see? This probe. I hate that probe. But I am getting a reactor on my first barracks. And getting a second barracks up. He's finishing that cybernetics core, getting more zealots. He's researching warp gate. Is he going to be chrono boosting it? Yes, he is. That's pretty standard these days for Protoss to warp uh, to get that warp gate as fast as possible. Especially if he looks like an uh, I hope I'm not spoiling anything here, but if you see a, a probe inside your base and he's not scouting, he's getting a proxy pylon. So those warp gates will be used as a proxy pylon, but not before a sentry comes out, as well as the zealots. Meanwhile, I just have one marine now getting three out and an SCV just hanging out. Oh my goodness, what was I doing this game? One thing I was not doing, paying attention. But what I did do is send a Marine out to the Zalnaga Tower. I'm not exactly sure why. I think I just did it because I like the Zalnaga Tower on this map, because it, it is hidden by smoke. So if the, the army's right outside here, they cannot see the Marine, but I can see them, which is always nice. Probe's still chilling. Stalker's starting to come out for Deckums. Warp gate is done. Right now. There we go. 
Meanwhile, I am getting more marines, a couple marauders, researching stim pack and concussive shells while he gets his proxy pile on. Oh, this is going to be horrible. I can sense it already. I'm getting a factory, going to tech up after a three racks. That's pretty... Yeah, I don't know. If I had known this proxy pylon was here, I wouldn't have done it. But I still think it's a pretty okay build to go for that uh, factory after the three racks. Uh, but I do, ha I have changed it. Uh, since then, I don't go for the factory first. I actually go for an engineering base so I can get upgrades on the army. And up comes his army. Am I going to take that out? No, looks like I back off. And a supply depot is, of course, down, so now I raise it. I do believe there is uh, some room between those two buildings for an army to go through. And, oh, zealots warped into, into my expansion. I never bothered checking it. Oh. Look at that. Oh, he's killing me in APM. You it's lost. We still haven't lost anything, of course. Uh, and he's got... He's got the army. Let's face it. He's got it. He's killing me. In the army count. All I can hope for is that he mismanages it somehow. A sentry coming out, though. So, uh... Sentries can make the difference in these kinds of battles especially in ones where I have the high ground and I should be able to take out at least a few because they will be bunched up here but in come the zealots and the sentry they pass up on my starport so it looks like I was taking up and here I stupidly put my SCVs to attack them if I had just waited oh and meanwhile let me just pause it right here okay so he comes in through here. He completely ignores the, the tech building and the SUV building it, really. And he goes straight for the SUVs. Now what you want to do is keep your SUVs on the mineral line. But instead I focus and try to attack the zealots. That was bad. You know why? Because then it becomes easier for the zealots to focus on the SUVs. They don't have to individually click them or control click them or anything like that. Uh, they can just stand there and they'll start attacking SCVs because the SCVs are attacking them back. If they're mining, they will not do that. And since I had an army, it wasn't like I needed the SCVs to kill them. The S I, I knew that the SCVs could not kill them. I had the army ready to kill them, but they were out of position, so I panicked and sent them in. And then I send the army in. They're all stimmed right now. And with perfect timing, he comes into my main base. Of course, that's not blocked off fully. I have only got two guys left here. They will die. And now he's got a pincer on my base. That's insane. Let's pick this back up. So I send what's left of the army down. And meanwhile, he's... No, looks like I am going to get this done oh here we go four more zealots coming in I'm going in to take out the pylon because I know there's got to be something here but am I gonna be able to finish this off these guys are so weak uh, they've all been stemmed so I'm trying to microms trying to use those concussive shells it looks like I'm doing okay at it uh, not the best I'll admit I am not the best at that and no, I'm not able uh, to finish it off, so two zealots will survive. And if you notice there, I have nothing left. I stopped producing while I was microing, and that's going to be it. I have no choice but to leave the game. I just, that, that siege tank will never finish. It, it's not even close. Look at that. I still had 37 seconds left. Uh, all my SCVs would have been gone by then. It's really game over because I did not scout. And of course, this Marine missed the entire battle. Didn't even know they were coming because Deckham's here. Sent them straight from here to here and they went through these ramps here outside the range of the Zalnaga Tower.
So this cell knight tower, not the best when your guy is uh, across from you. If it was diagonal, that's a great spot. But since he was here, I was forced to GG. I in fact did not GG. Um, I don't know why I didn't. Uh, it wasn't because of the proxy pylon. I think it might have been because I had been playing a lot of games against computers. I actually use that for training to make sure I'm in the zone, however you want to put it. I'll, I'll play a game against a, a very hard computer opponent, see how that works out for me. And um, so I had actually been out of it that game that day, and I actually had to fight like three or four uh, computer opponents before I even before I could even beat that. And of course, it doesn't look like I was ready because I made so many mistakes. You know, I got a reactor on the starport, but no marines or marauders until it was too late. Look at that! I'm starting to queue up people. That will never be able to finish. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I do lose from time to time, but lately it's been rarer and rarer. I don't actually, you know, skip uh, games that I lose on purpose. I know it might feel that way because I don't show very many losses, but here's one for you. I think I've only skipped one loss because it was like a three and a half minute Zergling rush, and I didn't think that was interesting for you guys. Uh, but this was the best proxy pylon I have seen to this date, so I thought it was interesting enough to show you guys. Um, if you disagree, uh, feel free to let me know. You don't want to see the, the proxy rushes anymore or anything like that. I'll not broadcast them anymore. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you learned. Hope you laughed. Hope to see you next time. Bye.